Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. If you are new here, I'm a mom to 11 kids. My husband Solo and I have 11. From 20 all the way down to our two year old. And I am just a normal mom like you. We try to feed our kids very healthy diets, but sometimes you just want that convenience food when you're walking out the door. I've seen some products on Amazon that are just grab and go. And so I picked up a bunch of them. I'm gonna have my kids taste test them today. We have eight kids here, ages 15 down to two. We're gonna taste test them and we're gonna give you our thoughts and the prices and let you know if we think it's worth it and you can make your own decisions. I got a good variety of actually what I think are very, very healthy grab and go choices from Amazon. So let's get started. Okay, here is my panel of testers. Thank you guys for being willing. And here is snack number one. They're playing telephone while they wait. We play telephone a lot. We got a lot of people. <laughs> okay, snack number one is snack mates. These are turkey. When you look at the ingredients, they are actually all things that you know and can understand and you would probably use if you were making some kind of meat stick yourself, homemade. And so that's what I'm looking for when I'm looking for really healthy options. They're fairly small as you can see, but I'm gonna cut them up so everybody gets just a little bite. Seth, did you like it? Yeah. Did you want more? No. Oh, okay. Was it good? Yeah. It's good. Noel? I'd give it a nine and a half. Out of ten? Yes. That was pretty good. I'd give it a nine. Nine. I think it's pretty good. Good. You would eat it? Yeah. You'd take it for a snack? Yeah. Nine and a half. I did try these two. I really, really like them. I've been trying to eat more meat and they taste wonderful. I know they say they're for kids, but who cares? They are very good. It says real tasty ingredients and full of flavor, and I would agree with that. And this is a pretty good size box that would last quite a while. Not for us. <laughs> These meat sticks are 40 of them for $38, so they're almost a dollar a piece. If you've ever shot for beef jerky type items though, they're never cheap and usually they're filled with a lot of junk. So there is that to keep in mind. Okay, next up is Lara bars. Some of my kids have strong opinions about this. We've eaten them in the past. Uh, these are our two favorite flavors, chocolate chip cookie dough and peanut butter chocolate chip. And they have very, very little ingredients in them too. The cookie dough is cashews, dates, semi-sweet chocolate chips, apples, sea salt, and vanilla extract. The peanut butter chocolate chip ones are dates, peanuts, <coughs> semi-sweet chocolate chips, and sea salt. It also gives you the ingredients of the chocolate chips in both. It's unsweetened chocolate, sugar, cocoa butter, and vanilla extract. So pretty good. Okay, we're actually all trying cookie dough. I actually love Lara Barca. Okay. okay How about we all too. try both? Okay, well, I'll try both. Go ahead. Eli, you look real excited about it. Nope. Not a fan? <laughs> I like it. It's good. You love them, huh? Yeah. She asked for the whole bar, but ended up splitting it. No? Not a fan. Really? What? Do you like it? She ate all of it. She loves them. <laughs> Mom, I you didn't even five. try Mama, yours. <laughs> Peace is a big fan. She's taking everyone's leftovers. Desi? Ew. <laughs> Not a fan. Two. One. Oh. Two. I really like them. Oh, okay, Two. good. And the boys didn't even want them. <laughs> They've had them before. Eight. Seth, did you try it? Oh, no. For 18 Lara bars, it's $17. So they're just under a dollar a bar, but they are very filling, which is helpful. So there are several of us who like it here, even some of my older kids that are gone. But um, they're good for sticking in the diaper bag, and they last a long time. <laughs> Not just because people aren't eating them. <laughs> they last like in the diaper bag. I found one from six months ago, and Peace really enjoyed it the other day at church when I found it at the bottom of the bag. Next up, we have the Bear Fruit Rolls. This is the strawberry, apple, pear, strawberry flavor, and the ingredients are apples, pear, strawberries, black carrot extract for coloring. And it says it's gently dried fruit rolls. So there's two little fruit rolls in here, and every package also has a little game or activity, which you know is going to drive that price up, but... It's fun, especially if you're out of the house. Maybe occupy kids for a minute. Okay, so this one I opened up. It has a card. I think you can collect these. They're different animals. And on this side, you're supposed to find the little seashell. There's six of them in the picture. So I've seen, we've opened a couple and seen mazes and things like that. Um, but they haven't, 
They haven't all tried them yet. Here is the snack inside. It is not very big. Here is the packaging it comes in. Okay, so they've unrolled it, some of them. Woo, that's how long it is? Yeah. Fruit snacks, A, it would be a lot cheaper to make them. I'll show you the price in a second. B, uh, they take a long time to make, so it's not so fun to make. C, they get stuck in your teeth, so they're probably not best for dental health if we're not brushing our teeth right afterward, which we're probably not. But that all said, what do you think? Sorry. They don't really get stuck in your teeth, Mom. No, they don't really get stuck in your teeth. Oh, they don't? Okay, do you like them on a scale of one to 10? Flavor-wise? Seven. Seven. Uh, six. Two. Two? That's not very good. You know that. You don't like it at all. Okay, well, we got the picky section over here. What do you think? Uh, do you like it? A nine. A nine. Oh, okay. You uh -huh. like it. Uh -huh. Peace. Uh -huh. Did you like it? A yeah. yeah. A hundred and a nine. Whoa. How about you? Did you like it? Yeah. Oh, okay. We also picked up the apple pear, and the ingredients of this one are literally just apple and pear, I think. Yep, apples and pears. Well, it turns out, Hope and Noel didn't even try it because they heard me say black carrot. We tried it. For coloring. We tried so they're eating the other ones. No, we tried it. You did? Mm -hmm. Hope said she didn't. This taste tester won't stay in her seat, but she's real into it. Okay, let's hear your verdict on the apple pear. Good. I'll eat it again. Seven and a half. Okay. Six. Hope, did you like that one? No. You didn't like no. that one either? Noel, did you like that one? Five and a half. Five and a half. No. So that one's no. much better. No. Would you eat it again, Desi? Yeah. Seth, do you like it? Yeah. For the bare fruit snacks, I paid $10 for a 12 pack of those. So there are two rolls in each pack. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more snack. We're gonna try one more, and then I'm gonna tell you what we actually eat for snacks that are very affordable and very healthy. The last one is called That's It, and it's because it's very few ingredients. Noelle and I actually had experience with this one. On, we got it for a snack on a plane, the mango flavor, and she very much disliked it, but is looking forward to trying some different flavors. So this, this bag came as a variety pack on Amazon and so we'll see what kind of flavors they have. So it looks like it comes in blueberry. This one's called one apple, two, 20 blueberries. This one's called one apple, one mango. And this one's called one apple, 12 strawberries. And that's all that's in the bar. They're non-GMO, no sugar added. So I'm gonna let the kids pick which one they wanna try and we will report back here. <laughs> it is so quiet. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> I'd actually eat that again. Oh, you like that one? Okay, so mango. this this side of the table had mango. What do you guys think? It's great. It's fun. It's fine. Not your favorite Not thing. Not my favorite one. I'd but. say it's. I like it better than the fruit roll by a bit, but. Uh, you, you have to tilt it a bit. <laughs> Solo, did you try any? I thought the mango was all right. Just... Oh, okay. Yeah. These fruit bars were nineteen dollars for a twelve pack, so this is way over a dollar a bar. Um, and for how much my kids did not like them, I will not be buying these again. They're a lot of money. These three tried, oh no, these two tried strawberry. I can see you're not a huge fan. Maybe they're like me and they don't love fruit a lot. Do you like fresh fruit a lot? Oh, okay. <laughs> and these three tried blueberry. Did you like it, Seth? No. No? It's almost gone. Did you like it? No? Are you sure? Yours is gone too. Would you eat it again? Yeah, 10. 10, oh okay, she likes it all pretty much. All right guys, I wanna hear, what was your favorite? If you had to eat a snack, if you had to take one with you, what are you taking? This one, 100%. Look, Tori's the larp. <laughs> I want that one. I agree with him, I would be taking those meat sticks. Solo and I have eaten several of them. They're good. Meat sticks. All in all, meat sticks are the winner here. We'll be buying them again, but I do like keeping the Lara bars around. Honestly, when when they're really hungry, they do go for these. 
Lara bars. It's helpful to have them. I think they're a fairly good deal for um, what you get. I do think when you're considering all money spent, when you think about how much you spend on fast food, like a McDonald's cheeseburger is a lot of money these days. A couple of meat sticks might fill you up till you get home to get some more nutritious food um, and be about the price maybe, I don't know, of a McDonald's cheeseburger. Um, but be a lot better option. So you kind of got to weigh all that. Like it might be worth having some snacks that we're spending more money on uh, just to be able to eat better and make it till we get home or whatever the case may be. But no judgment, no, no matter how you choose to spend your money and feed your children. However, I want to tell you some very cheap ways that we eat very nutritiously for snacks that are mostly convenient, not 100% convenient. One of those is hard boiled eggs. We have hard boiled eggs a lot, and I like to cook them in a pressure cooker. I put a bunch of eggs in at one time just to do a lot. The way I store them, I try to make it very convenient for myself, but I also know they will only last a week. So I just do the amount that I know we would eat within the week. I use a little tray in the bottom of the pressure cooker, add about two cups of water in the bottom, and I fill that thing with eggs sometimes, but often I'll do just 12 to 18. We put it on high pressure. I think the manual says to do it for five minutes, but I like to do it for three. I just like them to not be super hard boiled. I like to release the pressure even the minute it's done at three minutes, but I think uh, technically you're supposed to do five minutes and let it manual will release. I take that pot right out of the pressure cooker, put it in the sink and fill it with cold water right there. And I just go ahead and peel them as soon as they're at a place where I can touch them, which they have to cool down a little bit. I bag them up and like I said, they last about a week in the fridge and it is a convenient snack that you can grab and go. If it's getting close to the end of the week and we have not eaten hard boiled eggs enough, then I'll just go ahead and whip up a batch of deviled eggs. Everybody in my house loves deviled eggs and they won't last at all and, and we manage to avoid wasting them. Another thing we love to do for snacks, the most convenient one that we do all of the time is have fresh fruit around the way I like to have fresh fruit around and keep it from going bad is I leave it out. I usually put it all the way down our long table. I'll put it anywhere so that it's out and kids can see it. I personally am not a huge fruit fan, but I would like to eat fruit cold from the fridge. And so I might take a couple pieces and put them in the fridge, but I've noticed if I store them in the fridge, they do, are not seen and they don't get eaten and then they go bad. So that's how we prevent them from going bad generally is to just leave them out. If I get a lot more, then we can eat before they go bad. Then I'll put some of that in the fridge and just pull it out as we've eaten what's out. We will sometimes make smooth smoothies for snacks. They're not very convenient. They're kind of messy, especially if my kids are making them. What's your favorite snack to eat? Homemade popsicles. Homemade popsicles. Homemade popsicles. What's your favorite snack? Oh, homemade popsicles. But another snack that we do often is fresh bread. I'm always making bread and we're always always making four loaves at a time. So today when the four loaves came out, we had a fresh loaf of sourdough bread with gobs of butter on it and it was delicious. And it was easy because it just came out of the oven. It was already there. I know it's not a very traditional snack, but it actually is very traditional. My dad talks about growing up and his mother saying, you need a snack? Here's some bread and butter. <laughs> so you can throw some peanut butter on that bread. You can do all kinds of things, but we sure love bread around here. Even just slices of cheese or raisins. My kids aren't huge fans of nuts, um, but raisins go a long way around here too. And sometimes we just have early dinners. If my kids are snacking a lot, they won't eat a good dinner uh, unless we're having a later dinner and they really do need a snack to get through. So uh, there's some give and take there. We're a pretty flexible household dinners, not at the same time every night because my husband doesn't get home at the same time every night and we don't have the same things going on at the same times every day. And so if we're gonna have an early dinner, we might just be able to get through just plain um, and and not have a snack a little later lunch a little earlier dinner who needs a snack but if we're gonna eat later then uh, those are some of the ways we fill up very very affordably guys if you're interested in any of those snacks that we try today I will leave them linked in the description box below for you I think we're buying those meat sticks again and I did see the Azure standard which I love to buy from them they have some really good ones that are similar price um, and similar quality too. And so I may try theirs as well. They're a great snack for adults. I don't know why they say kids on them because they're great for all ages. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.